Well, hey guys, uh, welcome to Let's Talk Finance, episode six, Angelo. Welcome aboard. Thanks, Les. Yeah. Welcome. Um, so good week. Um, it's been beautiful weather this morning. It's a glorious day, yeah. especially down at Henley Bank. Just fantastic. Yeah. Happy Tuesday, guys. Um, so this week we want to talk about refinancing. Um, obviously, there's been some changes out there with the interest rates. Obviously, yep. we've seen the, the rate uh, cut and perhaps some future rate cuts to go. What's Definitely. your opinion on the next six months there? And so at the moment, we're seeing a lot of lenders being pretty proactive. Um, there was a period for about six months that the banks weren't very aggressive in the lending space because of all the regulations. Banks make money when they lend money. Yeah. So what we see at the moment is uh, a lot of the banks, a lot of the smaller ones being very, very aggressive. We've seen rates at 3.39, um, which I haven't seen for, for 20 odd years. Um, variable rates from 3.44, um, no fees, some very aggressive uh, banks out there. In addition to that, a lot of banks are paying up to $2,500 to refinance. Okay. Um, so there is a bit of an incentive there. Okay. It gives people the opportunity to get in front, consolidate some loans uh, while rates are so low and also make extra repayments as well to get in front. So a great time to refinance at the moment. Now's a great time to do it. We're also seeing the Adelaide market um, you know, it's stable, it's steady, um, and there is talk that obviously with these changes, there could be a bit of an upswing in later on in the year with the property prices in South Australia. So yeah. now's a good time to get in, get your finance under control, build that equity, and, and put yourself in a strong financial position. Good time position. to get out in the marketplace. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Rate cuts, we're looking at maybe yeah, a couple more. The, the talk of the same August potentially is the next one, and I say potentially because we find out when everyone else does. Yeah. And there is speculation, which may be a little bit too speculative, a possible one towards uh, November potentially. There is a lot of talk that people are waiting till September, yeah. um, but like you, we're saying to our, our clients, get in now, not much yeah. competition, you can probably get yourself a good property at a good price, yeah. uh, get yourself into the market, and then when the market does take a swing upwards, you take advantage of that growth as well. Well, I think what's also changed in the market is, is people realise that it's not, you know, buy and settle in 30 days. I mean, you buy a property in July, uh, two month settlement, you know, you, you're moving in in October. Gone are the days of 30 day settlements because yeah. the banks are slow mm -hmm. and people just aren't ready to get their stuff in order. So um, the quicker you can get a pre-approval, get ready to go, it puts you in a very strong position moving forward. Yeah. So actually this week's case study, John from Semaphore. Yep. Yeah. So, yeah, so John um, thought he had a pre-approval, was going to yep. go an auction that Oz property was selling about two weeks ago. Um, okay. Came to us, looked at the pre-approval and I told John that it's not a proper pre-approval, it's an automated one. Yeah. So he was going to go to the auction, but he was not in a position to bid. So I suggest that sold obviously. So the property sold uh, and he yeah. did really well with that price. Yeah. Um, so we've sat down with John and his wife, uh, worked out a bit of a plan got them pre-approved correctly in okay. writing, and now he's ready to go, um, okay. and he's looking at going to auction this week at a property, right. so there's no turning back. He's wishing it was a month ago. He came to us a month yeah. too late, but yeah. he's ready to go now, and he'll find something shortly, I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah. Food for thought, guys. Got any questions for Angela or myself, shoot us an email. Look forward to being in contact. Have a great week. Thank Thanks you. Enjoy. Cheers. Thank See you. you.